Hello and welcome to the second episode of our series event talks. In this series, we will be inviting guests from event industry having unique expertise in this industry. As we know, experience is the best teacher and learning from somebody else's experience is an art. Today we have someone special, special not only for me, but also for all the ladies out there who were flooding the comment box with this one question, whether this industry is for girls, can girls grow in this industry? Shraddha Pyas is a perfect answer to all the questions. She is a powerhouse and not only she is good with her work, but she is known for the domination in her space. She is truly a fun and courageous and a brilliant entrepreneur. Shraddha has started her career few years back in, in the field of marketing, switching to business development and client servicing, became an assistant manager at one of the India's top corporate and now she has successfully started her own corporate event agency. Shraddha, it is truly an honor to have you on our show. A heartily welcome. Ah, uh, yes, I'm flattered. <laughs> Thank you for that amazing introduction. And uh, firstly, I would congratulate you and wishing you all the very best because you're doing an amazing job. I think Thank this you. is a very much required platform for every person who wants to get into this industry or rather wants to understand this industry because, you know, as you know, they call us just the birthday party planners. Yeah. So it's important for the world to know what uh, event industry is all about and uh, it's its why. Is, it's vast, so it's important for them to understand. Thank you, thank you. And having you on our show will increase their awareness and broaden their mind. So <laughs> let us begin with the first first question. So it is the most common question which I'll ask all my guests. Why events and how events? Uh, okay, so to be very honest, yes, uh, in the first year of my college, I, uh, you know, uh, I had psychology in my head that I wanted to pursue as a career and uh, having be, having doing uh, psychology for a couple of weeks in the first year of college, I don't know, something just switched my head and uh, I thought I wanted to get into the entertaining side of the, uh, you know, of the world, uh, you know, just to pursue something because I was always a little more creative and, uh, you know, wanted to do something out of the box and that's how I got into the entertainment industry uh, talking about it i had my first event which was for lafard cements where we had dhoni as the as the brand ambassador i still remember knowing nothing about the event industry and you know just stepping there doing the registrations for them and trying to understand how the event industry works that's how i started my first job and at an ad agency and since then uh, there's been no looking back ever in my life and the idea of starting my um, you know own agency has been there in my head for a very long time so i, oh. re I still remember you know my first exhibition after i uh, you know after i left my last job was for a very yeah. close friend so aisa ho gaya tha ki, uh, he just approached me and he said you know would you do this exhibition for me i said you know i can give it a try and it turned out to be amazing and uh, since then i think i was very sure that i wanted to do something uh, and you know working with an event agency i believe uh, you are always having that uh, you know thing in you where you know you can do a little more aapke andar yeah. wo ek jo aapki capability hoti hai and then you feel yeah. that you know have you have a lot of database that you build yeah. you have a lot of social pr circle that you build on your own and yeah. um, ironically my company name is called carpedium which means seize oh. the day Okay. I tried pronouncing it two, three times before <laughs> I uh, decided to take interview. <laughs> yes, so it was, it was, uh, it was more exciting for me to do something and you know seize and be my own boss. And uh, though starting something from the scratch is terrifying, but at the same time it's yeah. very exciting. Uh, yes. There are days when you have sleepless nights, and then uh, then you will have some days where you just look at the fan rotating on the ceiling, and, and then you're like, yeah. <laughs> that's so true. Yeah, that's so true. So, Shraddha, I just want to start it this way. So, I have been getting this question on my channel. Like, like the comments have been flooded with this question. Many young girls who want to make the career in this industry, but are worried about whether this industry is for their or them for or not. Although I feel that this industry has equal opportunity for everybody, I always encourage them. But you know what, you might saying them uh, leave a bigger impact on them. So just uh, how, how do you feel about uh, females in this industry? Like what are the opportunities from them and what advice would you like to give them? Uh, to be very honest, yes, I, I don't know. I uh, To be completely honest, actually, I feel there is no shortage of girls in this industry now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Starting from, you know, client servicing to business development to designing. I 
frankly speaking they're doing an amazing job and a lot of times yes. uh, you know i being in the exhibition uh, industry and uh, going down for setups i see a lot of girls at 2 in the night at 4 in the morning they're there yeah. making sure every fine detailing uh, is done correctly talking to the clients and you know uh, the the best thing is that they're doing it calmly and uh, yeah. you know because when you are in an exhibition bahut detailing hoti hai bahut zyada yes. detailing yes. and uh, you know it's it's really scary to goof up at that point so i think yes. girls doing that uh, is an amazing when i see them you know i feel good that theek hai now we see a lot of girls in this industry yeah. uh, and plus most of the girls uh, there's this one thing that i felt that a lot of girls join the event industry thinking that they'll get to travel a lot but you know yeah. uh, i think that uh, the core has to be to learn more uh, to yeah. understand the industry more yes uh, the primary goal is important to learn theek uh, hai travel hoga sath mein to travel karenge that's but, a by product yeah that's yeah that's there but then you know, at the same time it's important to know the industry to learn the industry yeah. well so yeah even but i believe the same but uh, there are some girls from like uh some some city where event event is not so popular uh, like mumbai and delhi so hmm. they have been asking me that uh, yash is this industry for us and i have always been telling them yes this industry is there for them also and uh, instead i also told them that uh, in my team also there are many females who work so nicely that even boys cannot cope up with their energy uh, the kind of passion and dedication they have in their work so i always encourage them and hopefully now more girls will step up and uh, yeah so i had this one interview that i had given last month and uh, you know i clearly yeah. mentioned one thing there that you know the only power that the girl has that we yell and uh, yeah. you know we 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 yell and we make sure that the work is done that's the yes. most important thing for us so you know it's it's important for girls to know that uh, this industry is for them and uh, aa jao <laughs> <laughs> and then let's figure out yeah yeah so the next question goes when you decided to go into corporate events there are so many types of events like wedding a corporate maybe there are so many types so why did you decided to get into the corporate event specifically uh so again yes i think uh, uh, you know corporate is the bigger uh, piece of cake to be very honest and okay. blunt and it's important for us to work with corporates is also because uh, there's a lot of professionalism that comes with it okay having said that it's not that we are only doing uh, you know just the corporate events we're doing exhibitions we're doing production we're doing branding retail detail aap naam lo aur wo cheez hum ab kar rahe hain but yes corporates ke sath mein ek alag impact ho jata hai for uh, you know at least for a startup agency like us it's been yeah. roughly around 2 2 and a half years that we started working so it's important for us to have them on board and you know to learn to experience all this Okay. Okay. So now you are into like you are into corporate events, but your main niche is exhibitions, right? So and when it comes to exhibition, one of the best I know. And since you have started your own event agency, tell us more about the business and more specifically about the exhibition business. Well, again, yes, that's very flattering. Uh, so we have been working and uh, trying to deliver the best uh, results. And uh, to be very honest, I've been blessed with great partners uh, who have, uh, you know, very strong uh, production knowledge and you know, in their respective uh, uh, background that they manage. And I, being from an exhibition front, I think I've been doing exhibitions for last eight years now, and I've acquired the skills to understand the client need. Uh, to provide them with the best solution, you know, ma- you know, maximum handle the situation in a way where we can find solution to all the uh, end, you know, uh, last moment needs, and finally deliver it with a smile. That's important. And event and exhibitions uh, are two different things, two separate things. Uh, you know, without being boring, I just want to summarize this way that events are more targeted and focused towards, say, a product launch or a you know annual meeting of a corporate client. जनरली इवेंट्स है शॉर्टर टाइम फ्रेम फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू फिनिश ऐसा हो जाता है कि आपके पास एक महीने का टाइम है उसमें आपको प्लानिंग एग्जीक्यूशन ब्रीच समझना सब कुछ इट प्योरली डिपेंड्स ऑल्सो फ्रॉम इवेंट टू इवेंट बट एग्जीबिशन इज मोर ऑफ अ मास पब्लिक इन्वॉल्वमेंट वेर यू नो यू गेट टू एक्सप्लोर न्यू प्रोडक्ट्स न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी ऑल इन वन रूफ तो so, ये हो जाता yeah. है कि आपका जो टाइम फ्रेम है वो बहुत ज्यादा हो जाता है उसमें आपके पास mm-hmm. में दो से तीन महीने का टाइम आप दे रहे हो जिसमें आपको 
स्क्रैच से स्टार्ट करना है टू अंडरस्टैंड द ब्रीफ टू मेक श्योर यू गिव दम मल्टीपल थ्री डी डिजाइन ऑप्शन दैट आर देर एंड देन यू नो गिव दम अ मॉक फेब्रिकेशन बिफोर यू डू दुअल सेटअप एंड देन यू आर गिव इन लिमिटेड टाइम आपके पास दो से तीन दिन का टाइम है टू क्रिएट समथिंग एंड द बिगर द सेटअप the bigger the you know the effort, uh, things are yeah. there to the efforts are there yeah. and uh, it's important to give them a replica of the 3d that you've shown them yeah so you know all these exactly. things are very important okay so uh, tell us uh, the steps that you uh, take or, or you look into to organize a flawless exhibition and it would be great if you could uh, present those examples with some case studies or what what previous exhibition you have done we, we could look at some case study and some exhibition examples definitely definitely i would share a few of them with you and you can probably put put them uh, you know on the on the link along with this uh, but then i would just give you an example where sure. uh, last year for uh, exhibition called uh, astech we had done this booth for uh, rk yeah. ceramics which was a 450 square meter booth that had to be executed in uh, four days It's okay huge. so it's it's huge with you know yeah. 80 to 100 laborers coming along and working on um, a project mm-hmm. like that uh, 4500 odd square feet of tiling work to be done so it was massive uh, us time pe aisa ho jata hai us event ko flawless karne ke liye jo team hai uska division sahi tarike se hona uh, procuring the material so there are a lot of things that are involved where you know ek choti si galti can cost you a lot So yeah, we remember absolutely. that a lot of labor was required to load and unload the material yeah, for uh, yeah, this program. Yeah. You know, it consumed uh, double the time of what we expected. So we had oh, to actually okay. pull in uh, more than 30 more laborers to then execute the entire show. Oh yeah, so that's good. So actually, what what was the what my next question was? You answered it in the beginning only. So I was about to ta- ask you about. why you started your business and what was going inside you when you uh, wanted to leave leave a corporate job where you were doing some handsome things and why did you leave that job why did you took the risk to start your own business so what was going inside you and what are the future growth opportunities that you saw and you uh, took this risk uh so yes uh, the event industry in india is huge Uh, we are yeah, expecting absolutely. to cross say 10000 crores uh, in uh, yeah. financial year of 2020 and 21 hopefully the simple reason is that people want to experience new technology new products new innovation and the best way to experience is uh, you know by visiting or organizing a show for me i would say visiting an exhibition in particular uh, for yeah. clients in a span of 3 days uh, they get to showcase their products to thousands of visitors and it makes an investment viable for them so the opportunity is uh, you know there's a good opportunity for them but at the same time the competition is stiff the market is very tough uh, the industry is already uh, growing and will continue to take a massive hit because of the recent corona virus pandemic uh, but there are also many people who have started to do a lot of virtual events but i don't yeah. think that the solution and uh, can never be a replacement to the real thing but i'm yeah. hoping that once the pandemic is cleared uh, maybe by september you know we should start back in full force it will be back in full force yes. yeah hopefully uh, by september uh, fingers yeah. crossed and uh, yeah. for for carpe diem especially we definitely stick to our core strength of uh, exhibitions and events uh, but we also trying to diversify into the digital segment now we've executed a few uh, video advertisements for our clients uh, develop okay. some special apps and we also plan to expand the social media segment especially given the current situation of the corona virus Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. So with this, I have uh, I don't have any other questions. So we have completed this interview very quickly. But uh, <laughs> there is a rapid round, uh, rapid fire round, which I would uh, just uh, there are a few questions, and you can answer this question in like one or two sentences. So are you ready? Yeah, I am. Okay, don't ask me anything. You know how rapid my answers are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So your favorite event? Uh. Uh, event or client event event okay so my favorite event would be uh, there's a show that happens every year in italy which is called sursai which is one of the biggest events in the one biggest okay. exhibitions in the world sorry okay craziest thing you did on event lie to a client on the face and smile <laughs> i i shouldn't have said that <laughs> well advice that answer. you would yeah one advice to someone who wants to step into this industry 
uh just do it but do it patiently knowledge or experience okay so this is not going to be a rapid one i think uh, but then yeah. i definitely think that experience is more important uh, knowledge comes from experience uh, you know from experience how to do things this is my personal opinion uh, yeah. because i have personally no, learned 90% of the things not from the books uh, but from practical situations but yes the abcs are obviously very important uh, without basic knowledge there's no chance to gain an experience it's a weird yeah. interlink actually Yes, 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 yes. So I just uh, asked you because uh, there are many people who ask me uh, in my comments, like, is there any way that we could come into events without taking a, a expensive course or something? So I always tell them that, yeah, experience is a bigger teacher. Just take the experience, do freelancing event, explore which which kind of events you like, and then do internship for free. Uh, don't pay uh, to a college instead do an internship for free, and then just jump into the kind of event you love. that's the kind of advice i always give them so that's the reason i ask you this question that that's the most important you rightly said yash actually because experience is important uh, knowledge mm. of course is important but you know it's it's mixed yeah. you need to have both of them together yeah 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 so it was absolutely amazing having you shraddha on our show and uh, we hope that many people would uh, watch this and get inspired from you so we would be sharing your links on uh, the description part so uh, thank you for being on our show and uh, yeah Thank you so much Yash and all the very best. Thank you so much.